So it's great to be here today. It's a really historic occasion. Um, one of the things you'll tell your grandchildren about. And today for us is all about friendship, about collaboration, and about how do we design a new relationship for young people between Ireland and Britain. Um, first of all, I think it's a great, great honour to be here, to be involved in uh, the first official Irish state visit. And I think uh, it's a brilliant chance to get young people together from across Britain and Ireland and talk about the great projects that are already happening uh, and ways we can collaborate in the future and um, moving forward new projects we can work on together. And I think that's a really exciting prospect and one that I would like to think all young people could get on board with and get involved with. So there's the gauntlet, get involved. We've got some great projects coming up and today's a great chance to look at new possibilities of exploring new avenues for projects between Britain and Ireland. So we're here today for the state visit. Uh, we're looking at London Bridge here, just uh, in City Hall. Uh, really exciting day ahead. It's amazing to be part of history, uh, but it's also amazing to be able to talk about issues of common concern with uh, British young people and Irish young people because I think we're so much stronger when we work together, so it's really exciting to hear about different issues. So for me today is all about getting young people's lived experiences and translating it to policy makers. So that when policy is made it is involving young people and I think that young people are the best pe people to know what's going on because they live through these things every day. Um, so what I want to see by the end of today is this information being used in a constructive way. Um, so today we're at City Hall um, for the workshopping um, sessions um, as part of the Irish State Visit. Um, it's good to see the President on board here today. Uh, we'll be coming and visiting with us um, as part of our work to help break down boundaries between um, the UK and Northern Ireland um, and obviously the Republic of Ireland as well. Um, it'd be useful sort of all, all us working together um, a sort of appreciation of the work we've already done um, and a call of action to sort of bring what we're already doing and to expand that and um, work closely with uh, the Irish public. Yes, yeah, so we're at the Irish State Visit. This is the youth part of the State Visit where we're here with young Irish people, young people from the UK and we're talking about ways that we can cooperate and, and come together and it's, it's great to be a part of what is a, a monumentous day, I suppose, in the history of both countries. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to putting together some really good recommendations for how we can work together uh, and we're also going to celebrate our shared culture um, and I suppose it's a really important message as well that hopefully we can send out to, to everyone else out there that uh, there is so much scope for cooperation, uh, for partnership and for success not only between two economies, that's only one small piece of the puzzle but through social interaction between people and through the environment and through culture and society so it's great to be here. One more this is a moment in history for the young people who are here today uh, representing Ireland, North and South, the United Kingdom, representatives from all of the youth organisations from Goshka, the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, the British Youth Council. It's a moment of history as I say for the young people working together today, taking charge of change together. And great to hear their ideas and of course it's not just about today it's about how they continue and build relationships exchange good ideas and give both governments lots of ideas about how to take things forward for young people how do you think the British and Irish governments can respond and take those ideas forward in a practical way? Well, I think we need to examine precisely what uh, the young people are talking about the ideas that they're generating and uh, we have to then examine them I'll certainly do it within my own department of children and youth and I'm sure my equivalent, uh, the equivalent minister in, uh, in, in the UK will be examining. So it's about looking at the practical implementation of the ideas they come forward with. There are ones about democracy and greater linkages to young people. Uh, there are ones about enterprise and also about the arts and how maybe primary schools in, in both countries could be linking more together. So there's lots of practical ideas, implications for lots of different departments, I think. So we'll have to examine all of those. Okay, and you commit to doing your very best. I will do my very best. Excellent, thanks very much. Well. Thank you. To reading the my name is Sophie Rogers and the event today is called Taking Charge of Change and we're here today to discuss views of young people from all across the UK and bring our voices to the Irish President. It was a great day, we achieved a lot and I'm very proud of the contributions made. Excellent, thank you. Uh, so I'm Dermot Dennehy, I'm from the London Irish Graduate Network which is a network which um, kind of looks towards 
the old ties of why Irish people are in the city, but he really looks at where we're going to go. So maybe 30 odd years ago, Irish people came over here involved in construction. So we're all about linking Irish people in graduate roles, professional roles. Um, so it's very nice to be here today and kind of look at what can be developed on. So it's very good to sit around the table with English people. Um, not sorry, British people, not just English people, get their input from a right range of cultures, see that the links between the two countries are really developing. Um, and it's great as well that Michael D is the role president, he's a very, very keen on youth involvement. So to get that promoted and get youth ideas um, at a top level can only be good. So I think today all around was a very good success and all for the convention. Okay, so today we were really, um, there were young people um, from a variety of different places from the Chief Editors Award, the President's Award, and also people from the British Youth Council. Um, we were all just coming together really to discuss uh, some of the different issues really that uh, young people um, can take forward really. And how did you find future. it? Uh, it was an absolutely brilliant day. It was great. Um, it was great looking around the room and seeing so many young people like so passionate about so many different issues and uh, just having a chat and really like people were engaging so well uh, into the uh, conversations and um, yeah, just the stuff that we really came up with really. It just seemed really brilliant and uh, looks like uh, some good plans can go forward to the future. What kind of issues came up? Uh, just really about how we can sort of bring the five nations together really um, so there's sort of issues to do with you know social media and how we can use that to bring together a uh, sport uh, how sports so important and how we can uh, you know, use sport to um, unite everybody and um, you know arts culture enterprise everything really um, it's just brilliant really to see all the different ideas and a variety of ideas great thank you so today we're meeting with Irish people who've come in from Ireland and um, with the president and we're meeting with them to discuss issues that affect us and so there's stuff, topics like sport and stuff like that and it's important to me because it's good to build bridges with people from other countries and to meet them and discuss things that affect us on a daily basis and to have a say in that is really important to me.